I, 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 as I said, I think the president has believed that for a while based on studies and information he has. This isn't the first time that you've heard this concern of his. Trey? It's not, but I Thanks, think it's Sean. worth clarifying whether illegal ballots or illegal and I, I think there's been studies. There's one that came out of Pew in 2008 that showed 14 percent of, of people who have voted were non-citizens. There's other studies that have been presented to him. It's a belief he maintains. So you heard Sean Spicer referring to a 2008 Pew Research study. That, in fact, does not exist. Pew, however, did do a study four years later, which the campaign cited on other occasions, so we assume that's what he's actually referring to. We decided to reach out to a man deeply involved in that study. David Becker is his name. He's the primary author of the study, and he joins us now. David, thanks for being here. So just to be clear, the, the Pew study, which you authored, that's been frequently cited by the Trump camp for months, it found that, that while there are millions of out-of-date registration records due to people dying or moving, that does exist, there was no evidence that voter fraud uh, resulted from that. Is that correct? Right. There was no attempt to even quantify it in many ways. We were really just trying to quantify the challenge that election officials have in keeping their election rolls, their voter lists, up to date in the course of an election cycle. And of course, this study came out uh, almost five years ago now. Uh, what we've seen since then is that, thanks to the work of many in this space, uh, states and local election officials have done a much better job of using data and technology to keep their voter rolls up to date. I think the voter rolls for the 2016 election were probably the most accurate list we've ever had, and they're going to get they're going to get better. So when uh, when Sean Spicer says that the president believes there's been voter fraud, massive voter fraud, based on studies and evidence, that's what the phrase he, the, that's been presented to him. To your knowledge. Are there any studies, is there any evidence that points to any kind of large-scale voter fraud? I don't know of any evidence. I was at Pew and I ran the elections team there. I was there for eight years. I was a lawyer in the Justice Department in the voting rights section there for seven years during both the Clinton and the second Bush administrations. And I study this extensively and I don't know of any study that has found any kind of significant voter fraud. There are studies that have found 31 cases out of a billion nationwide, virtually non-existent. And election officials across the country, Republicans and Democrats who have looked at this issue, studied it in their own states, tried to prosecute people who, who have allegedly uh, committed uh, voter fraud, have found only a handful of instances. I think this says something really good about the American people. I think they take their elections really seriously. I think fraud is exceedingly rare. And if you look at the numbers, you're more likely to get bitten by a shark who's won the Powerball lottery than, you know, find someone who committed voter fraud.